Gaius Julius Caesar de Bello Gallico, Book 1, Episode 25. For this episode, we will divide this very long sentence here and analyze and translate through Proficus Contour. In the next episode, we will resume with Boiosque. Persuadent rauricis et tulingis et latabrigis finitimis, uti e odem usi concilio apedis suis, wicisque ex ustis, una cum iis proficus cantur. They persuade, they convince, they convince the rauricis, the tulingi, and the latabrigi. Persuadent is the verb, it's third plural, present indicative active, from the second conjugation verb, persuadeo persuadere, like so. They convince or they persuade three groups, rauriki, tulingi, and latabrigi. Each of these is masculine, plural, and dative. The verb persuadeo patterns with a dative indirect object. And each of these three is modified by finitimis in the same gender number and case. This means nearest or closest, ons, on one's fines, one's borders. So they convince the rauriki, the tulingi, and the latabrigi. These are their nearest neighbors. And of course, the subject of persuadent, again, if you need a review, are the Helvetii, the Swiss, this Gallic tribe. It's in present tense for vivid narration, historical present for vivid narration. So the Helvetii convince their nearest neighbors, these three groups, rauriki, tulingi, and latabrigi, to do something. Uti here is an alternative spelling of ut and it introduces an indirect command. Ut and the subjunctive, proficus contour, this is an indirect command clause. It is in some sense the object of persuadent. Proficus contour is a third plural, present subjunctive, and it's passive because this verb is deponent. Proficiscor, proficisci, like so. It's a third conjugation deponent verb. So they convince these three groups to do what? To making use of the same plan and when their own towns and villages had been burned to together with themselves, unacumiis, namely together with the Helvetii, to set out on a migration, proficus contour. Let's look at the grammar a little more closely. We have the ut clause, as I've said, with proficus contour. The subject here is usi. This is masculine, plural, and nominative. It's a participle form of the deponent verb utor, uti, like so. And this one always patterns with an ablative of instrument. That explains the case of aodem concilio, which are neuter, singular, and ablative. Concilium is a second declension noun. Convince them to employ the same plan, aodem concilio. And then we have opidis through exustis. This is an ablative absolute when their own villages and towns, or towns and villages, had been burned. So these are neuter, plural, and ablative, these four words. It's an ablative absolute. The que here connects wikis and opidis. So when they had burned their own villages and towns, just like the Helvetii did, they convinced them to, using the same plan, una cumiis, together with, this is an adverb, cum iis, iis is masculine, plural, and ablative, as the object of the preposition cum, it's an ablativus sociativus, that is an ablative of accompaniment, and then we have the verb again, to set out along with them.